Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food adventure just for you and just for you. I am in the cold and overcast city of Newmarket, Ontario, Canada at Wendy's because a whole bunch of you guys in my last video said, hey Ken, did you know that Wendy's has this new pretzel bacon pub cheeseburger and also you can do it on a chicken sandwich so we're here now thanks to all you guys and we're going to do both sandwiches i did this like eight years ago but i think the difference is they got like this beer cheese uh sauce on it so let's see what that's all about for a limited time only hi how are you today? all right how are you doing good thanks what can i get for you uh i'm gonna do that pretzel bacon pub cheeseburger meal please and uh, let's do uh, Coke. Uh, I want to also do the, the same sandwich but with the chicken. With bread, spicy, or grill. Let's do spicy. That's it, thanks. All right, second one Thank you. All right, people. She didn't say how much, so we'll find out at the first window, maybe. I was actually going to shoot this in Bradford where I shoot most of my videos, but I pulled into the drive through and uh, they had no power. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to the Kendomic Food. <gasps> and they're, what, they're closed? Sorry for the moment, we have no power. <laughs> so there was a, a pylon with a note on it <laughs> saying sorry for the inconvenience, but we have no power. So that's why I'm down in Newmarket here. This is where I did the 24 hour living at Wendy's video and it's bringing back some memories. Especially when my bicycle tire popped in the back of my car. It scared the crap out of me. Did you hear that? My tire just exploded. All right, people, we're all parked. Let's get the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Once again, we'll put out our placemat Got our napkin all set up, ready to go. Got our drink. Got the straw, again, paper straws. Very nice, Wendy's, very nice. Let's take a quick sip. Ah, another Coke. Just after I ordered it and started going up to the drive-thru window, I realized I should have got a strawberry milkshake because I believe Canada Wendy's has strawberry milkshakes now. I'm not sure if they do it in the States or not. Let me know in the comments below. Let's take all this stuff out. Got extra napkins just in case. We got hamburger one, chicken sandwich number two. The burger seems to be bigger. We got our French fries. And once again, no bonus fries. Check it out. Ken gets screwed again. Just kidding. Sorry, Wendy's. I got angry. Get some fries into us. Mm. Russet fries. Homegrown here in Canada. Peel on. I should have opened all this stuff up. Got in for a close up first, but I got a little excited, a little hungry. Now we can go up for a close-up. All right, once again, as you know, going in for the extreme close-up of this amazing lunch here at Wendy's in Newmarket, we got our very cold Coke. We got our half-eaten fries, which I just couldn't resist once I had those hot, crispy fries in my hands. And over here, we've got the bacon or the pretzel bacon pub burger or sandwich. And uh, look at that beautiful pretzel bun on both of these. That's the burger over here. Over here we got a pickle. We've got our sauce. And I believe that is the beer sauce. We've got crispy onions. And we've got that Munster cheese and that deep fried chicken goodness. And of course, all on top of this toasted pretzel bun. And over here we got the burger the pretzel burger and again toasted bun that same beer sauce we got lots of pickles we got bacon on there i wasn't sure if i saw the bacon on the other one again the munster cheese 
I wonder which one's gonna taste better. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried the, each of these and what do you think is better, the burger or the chicken? Let us know in the comments below. Let's start eating. Once again, gotta eat a few more fries before they get cold. Don't like, oh, oh, they're all stuck together. Let's do it. I love Wendy's fries too, man. It's nice that all these places have different French fries. They all have their unique flavors, textures, thickness. Ooh la la. Yumminess. And Wendy's is one of the best. Let's wash that down with some Coke. Once again, I wish I had got the uh, the milkshake, but anyway. All right, so let's do this chicken one first. Again, thanks to all those amazing people who uh, asked me to come to Wendy's. Uh, I was gonna go to Burger King and do their peppercorn thing today, but I got so many requests to do this. Let me know in the comments below, anybody and everybody who wants me to go to Burger King next and do that peppercorn, uh, I guess it's a peppercorn Whopper or something. So uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you wanna go there next. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's spicy. That beer cheese sauce hit me right away with that Munster cheese. And then the flavors of the pretzel bun are phenomenal. And then slowly as time went on, it started to burn my mouth more and more. And that is definitely a hot bite. But I'm loving that uh, beer cheese sauce. I don't think I've ever had that before. Oh, and the apple with smoked bacon. Very crunchy. I don't think I've ever had soggy bacon at Wendy's. It's always been crispy. It's always been thick cut. Good job, Wendy's. Next up is the pretzel bacon pub cheeseburger. And uh, definitely not gonna be spicy, but it's probably gonna taste great. Mmm. <laughs> Again, that, I'm not sure you heard that. The bacon actually crunched. And so does some of this uh, pretzel bun, nice and crispy from uh, the toasting process. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm guessing it's the cheese sauce that has a bit of a sweetness to it. Unless there's another sauce they snuck in there, but they didn't put it up on the on the website. Yeah, the bottom there's nothing, and everything is from the meat up on this burger. So there's something that's sweet in here. It must be the, the beer, the beer cheese sauce. Mmm. That is dynamite. Another quick cleanse. Ah. So, in comparison between the chicken, the spicy chicken, and the burger, I'm a spicy kind of guy. I really love spice and I really love chicken. As you guys know, I love my chicken sandwiches. This is definitely something I'd order more than I would order this. I love Wendy's cheeseburgers. Their Baconator is one of my favorite burgers at, at Wendy's. They have a lot of stuff at Wendy's that I really like. But if I was to come back again and uh, somebody said, oh, did you want the pretzel cheeseburger or the pretzel bacon pub chicken sandwich spicy? It's gotta go, it's gotta be chicken, uh, spicy chicken here. Let's do another bite of that. Wendy's just has great chicken, and I've always loved their chicken ever since the first time, probably back in like 1990-something, the first time I ever had one of their spicy chicken sandwiches, fell in love with Wendy's spicy chicken sandwiches, and I've been eating them ever since. But the, the fact that they've changed it up a bit and added this pretzel uh, bun and that sauce, again, that's the thing that's the first time in Canada anyway that they've ever had this beer 
uh, cheese sauce and uh, it's totally making this uh, go through the roof really. The pickles are nice on this too. And also this Munster cheese, I don't think Wendy's has ever used that before. Again, it kind of has a mozzarella um, texture to it, but it has that smoky cheese flavor to it as well. I'm enjoying the burger uh, a lot. It's got a lot of nice flavors to it. Wendy's beef patties are awesome. It's not a bad little package, actually. Mm. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day where I started enjoying pickles in my burgers. Started liking them first with spicy chicken. Thanks to KFC on that one. From there moving forward, I started eating them more and more. Didn't really like them too much on burgers. Loved them on chicken sandwiches, especially if they're spicy. But now I'm enjoying them on my burgers. So, And I told people way back when I had 50,000 subscribers as I ate a jar of pickles and drank all the brine before my 50,000th subscriber celebration video. Doesn't that look yummy to you people? Not to me. I knew uh, eventually, <laughs> when I do stuff like that, that eventually I would start liking pickles and now I do, so there you go. But this is so much better than that. Wow. It is kind of fun going back and forth between these. If you want to go to Wendy's with a friend, uh, get both burgers, cut them in half, and uh, do what I'm doing going back and forth. I think you'd agree with me that this is way better than this. Although this is good, this is better. Yeah. Another fantastic ingredient in that burger and in this sandwich is that mustard. It is totally tied it together, especially with this pretzel bun. Pretzels and uh, mustard are like this, aren't they? All right, guys, I am loving this pretzel bacon pub spicy chicken sandwich so much i'm gonna have to give it a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to all you amazing men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning we don't know why you do but you do this next bite is just for you thanks for watching mm. Mm -hmm. pretzel bun Last bite, then we'll rate it. Hmm. All right, guys, we are all done. Well, there you go, two points for Ken. All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna have to give the Pretzel Bacon Pub Cheeseburger a would recommend. It is really good, but it doesn't beat the chicken, which on my rating scale is definitely a go out and get it now plus. It is definitely one of my favorite things uh, here at Wendy's alongside like that Asiago chicken sandwich too. That one's phenomenal as well. If you love these videos and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that awesome playlist I dumped down over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.